Hello, Leos. This is going to be your October 2018 reading. Now, when I first started this video, because I started it like two or three times because I keep saying Libra. So here's the deal. Some of y'all are definitely going to be dealing with a air sign, which I feel like strongly Libra this month. This could be a love interest. This could be somebody that you're working with. This could even be a friend, but they're going to cross your path in a major way, I feel like. And I feel for some of you, this is going to be like a love connection um, or either a really deep connection that ends up in a really good friendship. Some of you, I feel like um, this could be a partnership also. So this could be air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. There could be some issues that go on with this person for good or for bad. So we're going to look a little bit deeper into that and see what the connection is. But I strongly feel like some of y'all are going to be dealing with air this month. All right. Spirit, clear this deck. Leo 2018, October Spirit 2018. I also feel, Leo, some of y'all are going to be getting involved with somebody that you work with or partnership with. This could be in a romantic way. It could start off like as a friendship and then develop into something that is either a secret affair or um, becomes a love relationship where there's a decision that needs to be made. Maybe one of you are with somebody and the relationship has to be secret because you or the other person is married. Or they are living with somebody. So for some of you, you may... And this has been showing up in y'all readings for a couple of months now. Some of y'all definitely are going to be put in positions where you may feel like the opportunity is there to cheat or be with somebody else. Or you may have some opposition that may affect your relationships um, this month. And I feel like the energy has been going on for like the last two or three months. So some of y'all may already started a relationship with somebody. I remember in a couple of readings, pregnancies with bosses, secret trips or business trips. So there could be definitely some crossing the line for some of you. Not all of you, so don't message me talking about I'm a Leo and I don't cheat. If you don't cheat, then you ain't even got to worry about it. But for some of y'all that are out there doing some shady stuff, then y'all might need to tighten up on your business. Alrighty, so right off the bat, I see a lot of y'all are really being creative, um, being really, really passionate about things that you create or make. So I feel like for a good amount of you, you're very creative, very ambitious. So I feel like there's a lot of thought process or either spirit messages that are coming through that are giving you um, some type of insight into some things that you should do or you can do and with your creativity um this could be any type of art singing music dancing um writing but i feel for some of you you're being kind of spirit led to go into something that's a little bit more creative and that's something that you're passionate about so i feel for some of you whether this is a hobby or something new that you're just starting to open up, there's potential to actually grow this and make more money off of it. But it definitely deals with your creativity. I feel for a lot of Leos, and I think even with the last month, a lot of y'all are going to be doing a lot of traveling. I feel like connecting with people of different races, different cultures. Um, this could be something that has to do with your work. This could even be taking vacations or trip. I feel like there's money attached to it. So for a lot of you, I feel like there could be um, trips, business trips or things like that, that you're going out, maybe sharing some of your energy, your knowledge. It's saying skilled work is rewarded. So for some of you, you could be consultants, you could be doing seminars um, or teaching classes, but it looks like you're going to open the door to doing more of that because it seems like the more you get out, the more people want you. So for some of you, if you're just now starting off with something like that, you may hear messages um, towards the end of the year where it's like, okay, we want to book you for 2019. And so people are trying to get you on their schedule. So for some of you, this is going to be an opening that really brings in more money. Now I do see fatigue with this. So I do feel like if you are going into something like this, make sure you keep your vitamins and your, your eating habits up because I feel like this could be constantly flying different places, driving different places, but I feel like after a while, it kind of takes a toll on your health or your body. So if you are getting into something like this, like I said, make sure you drink your water, you take your multivitamins, um, 
you you um, deal with your diet a little bit better because I'm getting a warning for some of y'all that are not eating right that it could affect your immune system and then with this back and forth could cause you to be sick. So if this applies to you, make sure you tighten up on your health a little bit. I do see some of you definitely are going to be taking some classes going back to school. Um, this could be being offered a job where there's training or there's a different skill set that needs to be incorporated into this that maybe you're not completely sure about or you don't have that knowledge. I feel like this could be on the job training, picking up new skills um, with eight of pentacles. This is about learning more, but it applies to you learning more to make money, which means that if you do decide to go into some type of education or back to school, you're doing this because there's a job opportunity that's going to require this, or it either opens the door to a job opportunity that brings in more money for you. Now, I see for some of y'all, y'all definitely are taking trips that have to do with money. King of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Um... Maybe coming out of an end of a difficult situation. Maybe you were trying to get things going and now you're like, okay, we're moving forward. I got these opportunities that are coming in. They may involve travel or, and this doesn't have to be long distance travel. This could even be locally going from different buildings or different places. So for some of you, and I don't want to say Uber because I don't feel like it's a car or anything like that, but I do feel like some of you may have some type of mobile business or your business may require you to be mobile. I definitely feel like some of you are, uh, you're, you're in this phase where a lot of things that you're touching financially are opening up more doors for you. Um, some of you may be tired and you're not really seeing these opportunities that are coming in, but I feel for a lot of you, keep your eyes, your ears open because there's a lot of opportunities that are going on around you. Ten of Pentacles, big opportunity, Knight of Pentacles. So for some of y'all, y'all got some really great stuff coming in that brings in money, money to pay your rent, your car note, your mortgage and all that. Now with Knight of Pentacles, this is about being dedicated. This is about focusing, um, buckling down. So for some of y'all that may be all over the place mentally, physically, where you're just kind of burning your your um, energy up you need to focus and prioritize on the job that you want that is bringing in this money because if you're distracted it could affect this money but i see for some of y'all that have really been struggling financially you got big opportunities that are coming in may require some travel may require you learning a little bit more or going back to school but in the end, it looks like it helps you get your finances in order a lot more. Some of y'all are really becoming like bosses. Like, you know, I'm running my business. I'm structuring it. I'm I'm getting more organized. I'm, I'm starting to put things in a certain way so that I can move forward. So if you were coming from a place where you were disorganized and you felt like, oh, I just can't make myself out of a box. I feel like some of y'all are really getting into this mode where it's like, okay, my disorganization is affecting my business. So I need to really get in there, clean stuff up, organize, label things put things, file things away. So there's something that definitely is kind of coming in. It's really shifting the energy around you guys to where you feel like you need to get better prepared or better organized. Now, I do see some of you may get a message. Um, and it could have something to do with your home or your home base. This could be something about people living with you or people that frequent your home, or there could even be a problem within your house. But I feel like there's some challenging information that's going to be coming in that is um, may end up costing you some money or causing some emotional pain. For some of you, I feel like you're going to possibly hear about an issue with somebody that either you live with or they're within your family. And it, it makes you upset. It hurts your feelings. It feels like something was supposed to go a certain way. And it didn't. And some of you may even feel betrayed by a person that's close to you. I feel like this could be a family member or somebody that even you look at as family. Um, and I feel like this may have something to do with a house. If there is an issue, because I'm getting inheritances. If there is an issue where somebody passes away... And you thought the house was supposed to come to you or there was an understanding that the house was going to go to somebody within the family. I feel like there's some conflict 
that is going on with that that maybe somebody is not following through with their commitment or their promise um and it can cause some pain and cause some conflict with a person it could also be too that maybe you were you thought you were moving in with somebody and then you found something out that was really uh painful hurtful to you and now you realize i can't i'm not moving in with this person or i can't move in with this person so i feel for some of you it definitely has to do around a house or family you're going to get some challenging information now I do see if you do, a lot of y'all, I feel like you may cry one day, maybe stomp around, and then you keep it moving. The fire sign, Ace of Fire, picks back up where it's almost like you you went through something where maybe you had to shut the door. Something that you thought was going to go one way didn't go the way you wanted. And so you're picking yourself back up and you're moving in a direction, a different direction. Now, I do see... Some of y'all are being overly focused on material things. So this could have to do with a house or an inheritance or something within the house that maybe has some money attached to it. You thought something was coming to you and it's not coming to you and you're upset about it because maybe you were relying on this. Maybe you thought you were going to get something that you were going to be able to sell and make money off of it or there was money from a sale a house sale that was supposed to come to you but didn't come to you. This could be specific for somebody uh, because I feel like it's a message that somebody needs to hear. Now, it's showing that you're going to be okay. Um, you're not going to be happy about the situation, but you're going to pick yourself up and keep it moving. It is seeing and look at things from a different perspective. So maybe you're not on the same page with this person and you thought you were. Or there was something that you thought for sure was already settled and now you're realizing that it's not. There's something that's changing in it and you're not happy about it. So this could be emotional pain from a breakup, not moving in with somebody or somebody moving out. Or this could be an issue related to money where there's disappointment. Disappointment where there was some type of inheritance or something that was supposed to come or be passed down to you and you're not getting it. Now I do see for some of you... Y'all are definitely falling in love. Um, I feel like with Ace of Cups and then Knight of Cups, this is somebody that maybe you just started dating or they just came into your life and there's a connection with this person and it feels like it's really, really strong for some of you. Now, I do feel like this could even be in a work environment. Like I was saying before, this could be somebody that you work with. I feel like it starts off as something like a friendship and then somebody lets their feelings develop to a level where it's like, uh, I do see though that it may be misguided. I feel like if the, if this is going on with somebody at work, it may be one person is feeling like, oh, I'm falling in love, I'm connecting with you, and the other person is like, no, 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 that's not, we're just friends, we're just friends. So I think for some of you there may be a confusion. If you're putting a lot of energy flirting with somebody and you're thinking that it's going a little bit deeper, make sure you're not misreading the signs. Some people just flirt for the hell of it. They play. They have no intention of taking it to the next level. The person could be married and they just like the idea of flirting. Some people don't even realize they're flirting. They think they're just being friendly. But I feel like for some of y'all, either there's a mixed signal, you misread something wrong, or this could be vice versa. Somebody could be doing this with you where you're thinking, okay, we're just being cool. We're friends or whatever. And they're like, oh, no, you want me. You know, you, you touched me on my shoulder the other day. You laughed a little bit too hard at my joke. You know, you, you're giving me the signs. So if you're not trying to, to lead somebody on, make sure that you pull back on your flirtations because it may get misconstrued within a work environment. Now, for some of you, this may be completely out of the work environment. If it is, this is actually falling in love, making a connection with somebody. I feel for some people... You may even have discussions with this person about taking some trip. You know, let's go on a, a vacation together. Let's see. We, we're good here. Let's see how we travel together. So I feel for some of you, you're definitely dealing with somebody that you're connecting with. It feels like it's getting something deeper. You want to take it to the next level. Y'all are talking about going on a trip or vacation. Now, this could be after January because I feel like it's going to be planned. If it doesn't happen during the holidays, I feel like it happens after the first of the year. I see for some of y'all, you didn't expect this. It's like it came up out of nowhere. 
And with a fire sign, I mean, this could be another fire sign. This could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This could be um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So some of y'all, the energy may be moving really, really fast. And it's like, okay, yeah, my, my emotions are getting involved with it. Make sure that you slow it down if it's moving too fast. And if it's not what you want, then you definitely need to put a stop to it. Because somebody may be reading your signals wrong. Or either you need to stop doing what you're doing. Stop giving the signals. If you know that this is something that you don't want. All right? Now, I do see for some of you. Ah, some of you could be involved with somebody else, living with somebody else, even married to somebody else, and then deciding you want to kind of sneak away for a trip. This has been showing up in your readings a lot the last few months. If you haven't reached this cycle and it doesn't pertain to you, then don't worry about it. But for some of y'all, you've either done this cycle or you're going into it where maybe you're trying to get away to see somebody. And there's some conflict because there's a decision because after you do this trip, you're going to feel guilty. You know, oh my God, you know, I went to Bora Bora with this person and my husband or my wife or my girlfriend and my boyfriend are still at home. They think I'm on a business trip. So some of you are going to have this really weird guilt conflict type of situation. You may even try to start a fight with the person um, because of your guilt. Now, here's the thing. If you willingly went on the trip, don't be fussing with the person because after you go on the trip and you're like, oh shit, what did I do? I really don't want to do this. If you're really not trying to have an affair, don't put yourself in that position. All right. I feel for some of you though, that you could be getting involved with somebody and this is not going on a trip or anything. This could be somebody telling you that they're going on a vacation or something and they're actually going to see somebody else. So there is a connection where there's some shadiness going on. So if you're curious, if you get an inkling, your intuition is telling you something is not right, you may need to look a little bit deeper into a relationship. For some of y'all, this is just really falling in love. Meeting somebody, planning a trip, trying to go on a trip. I feel like there could be some conflict with some jealousy, but it's minor. You'll get, you'll get past it. Now, I do see... Some of you definitely are going to be connecting with um, a boss. Um, I feel like there's a positive movement with this. So for some of you, this, let's, we're not taking we're, we're taking the sex out of this situation. Some of you are just going to be connecting with a person that either can lift you to another level, or you may be using your expertise to help people. Um, this could be them doing this for you or you doing this for them. But I see for some of you, you're you're sharing your wealth, whether this is a wealth of knowledge or actually money. Some of you are helping other people move forward. You're using your influence or your status to boost other people up because it shows positive changes for people that are around you. So for some of you, you definitely are feeling like I've reached a certain level, so let me go ahead and boost other people up, which is a great thing. I feel a lot of people are looking up to you because of this. Um, they're admiring you because you are sharing your your um, your knowledge or your abilities. Or you could be looking at somebody with admiration because they're taking the time out to help you. I do see that this helps you to become stronger. So if you have a boss, a manager, a supervisor, CEO, whatever, that's saying, look, let me mentor you. Let me help you. Definitely do, go do that with them because it looks like they're doing it from a genuine place. They want to see you boost yourself up. And for some of you, you may be the boss and you're boosting somebody else up with your knowledge. Now, see, for some of y'all... I definitely feel like even though you have money coming in, some of y'all are holding on to it really, really tight or you're being too frivolous. I feel like it goes one way or the other. We're going to go with too frivolous. I feel for some of y'all, you got money coming in and you're throwing it out too much. Maybe you're buying too much stuff, stuff you don't need, um, stuff you already have. Spirit is saying, look at your house, your business, because some of the stuff that you're buying, you already have there so you're spending unnecessary money so for some of you i definitely feel like you're being very free with your finances and you're buying things that you don't need to for some of you i definitely feel like it's mismanagement of money where it could be affecting your budget at some point maybe you were all free willy-nilly at first and now you're realizing your bank account is looking really depressed right now i see for some of you definitely feeling like you're missing out on 
opportunities or possibilities that are going on around you because your finances are not right. It is really um, money management that you got to work on. For some of you, you're self-employed, you're entrepreneurs. So the thing about it is you could be spending too much money on inventory or things that you don't necessarily need to have right now. And it could be causing you to feel like you got too much money going out or you're not keeping up with your money. For some of you, you're going to be starting businesses and you're going in too quick. You're spending too much money at the beginning. Learn your demographics. Learn what you need to have in your store, what your shop, what's going to sell fast. Those are the things that you spend more money on because you know you're going to make money off of it. If you got big ticket items in there that have been sitting in your place or your business, even if this is an online business for two or three months, don't buy six more of those because you're not moving the one you already have. So for some of you, I feel like you're really, you're, you're getting into business 101 where you're trying to figure out how to properly do inventory or what is going to work or sell for you. Now, for some of you, this could be your job for a company where you're ordering things and you're ordering out of order or you're ordering something that is not selling quickly enough. So I feel like for some of y'all, if this is a business situation, you're definitely going to have to tighten up on your inventory and your budget. And then for some of y'all, you, I feel like uh, you could have been struggling with a business, your own business, and it's, it's maybe not moving as fast as you want. So some of y'all are even at the point where you're thinking about, maybe I need to walk away from it. Maybe I need to um, do something different. For some of you, I feel like if you do that, you're going to regret it. I feel like maybe there's not enough time put into it to let it grow. Now, that's, of course, you do what you feel like you need to do. If you feel like financially you can't keep it going, go ahead and shut it down. But I feel like at some point, because you have an entre entrepreneur spirit, you are going to start another business or move into another business at some point because it's what you're what you're driven to. Y'all are very ambitious. And the people that want to do this, they want to be ambitious. They want to make money. Now, I do see for some of y'all, you're definitely pulling away from people because you're dealing more with spiritual growth. You're focusing more on yourself. What do I need to do? Whether this is within love, whether this is within business. I feel with the love situation, some of y'all are dealing with complicated relationships um, that need some work. Not everybody, but some. And then for some of you, you really feel like there's a resurgence that's coming on in your relationship. Like you've done the work and now you're finally on the upswing of a relationship. But I do feel for some, you are going to pull back. And this could be pulling back from people, um, opportunities, because you want to focus more on yourself, learning yourself what you want. So it is showing that for some of you, this will actually help you be more successful because it's going to take you out of being distracted with a lot of other things and help you focus where you can come back in strong. Now, some of you definitely are going to be getting married. I feel celebrations. I don't see pregnancy right off the bat, but I feel for some of you, this could be joining families together, maybe blending a family in together. Some of you are going to be dealing with some type of graduation. Um, or wedding planning. I feel for some of you, if you're planning a wedding, that you're feeling very overwhelmed, too much stuff going on. Um, some of you are maybe planning a party, holiday parties, Halloween party. But I feel for some of you, if you're doing this, you feel very overwhelmed with some of the things that you're dealing with. Um, take a step back, prioritize, do what you feel like you need to do with it. If you don't need to do it, take it off your plate. Now, I feel for some of you, uh whether this is in business or in love, I feel for some of you, there are some things that are being hidden. Or you at least feel like there's some 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 shadiness going on behind your back. Whatever it is, it's going to come to the light. You have victory over it. I feel like for some of you, that you're going to move forward. Whatever this is, it's not really going to slow you down. It may be a distraction that irritates you a little bit. But I feel that it could be behind your back gossip or pettiness that there's no really need for it. It's not really going to affect your money. It just kind of throws you off a little bit. You may hear something that you don't want to hear. It makes you look at people a little bit differently. You may pull back from some of these people. For other people, I feel like you're releasing some fears that have been holding you back. And this could be with some of the things that you have to do where you felt like you had too many things going on and now you're taking things off the plate and you finally feel like your, your weight is lighter and you're moving forward in a more positive direction, being able to make more long-term plans. I definitely feel like for some of you walking away from 
other by everybody else's shit and issues frees you up. It could even be life changing for some of you because you've been doing this for so long, feeling obligated to people, feeling like you need to take care of people. And now you're prioritizing and moving some things out the way and you actually feel lighter and it opens you up to life changing experiences, spiritual growth, more opportunities coming in. And I think they've always been there. It's just that now you can kind of see because you're not distracted with a lot of bullshit around you. So you guys be careful if you're out there having affairs. If you got too much to lose, you really got to put some thought into this. If you're flirting with somebody and you don't have any intention of having sex with them, you might want to pull back because somebody's misreading your signals and they're feeling like this is moving towards something that's a little bit more intimate. And I feel for some of y'all, y'all might be shocked when this person makes a move on you because you're like, I didn't do this. I didn't do this, but you did. You kind of let them on a little bit. Or this could be somebody leading you on. So if you're in question of a relationship, what's going on? You might want to come out and either look at this person a little bit more to see if maybe they're flirting with other people and you're not the special one or the chosen one. Or make sure that this person isn't playing with you and leading you on trying to get something from you because of this. All right, Leos, I hope this helped. Damn, I think this was the longest one, but y'all had a lot of messages. So love you, Leos.